I think we'll gain a lot of understanding of what the real world expects from us. It's going to provide the foundation for which I'm going to build my career on. That is a lot of what the workforce is. There's no syllabus or agenda. I mean, it's good to say and put it at the table that this can be done, but how do you get it done? declares unconditional war on poverty in America. Poverty is a national problem requiring improved national organization and support. For the war against poverty will not be won here in Washington. It must be won in the field, in every private home, in every public office from the courthouse to the White House. All right, you guys, welcome. This is your policy research So project. policy research projects are the for students at the LBJ School to really get an opportunity to, to interact with a real world problem, engage in all the challenges and um, struggles that come with trying to solve a policy problem. But now I want to make sure that the concept of the PLP is clear. Each PLP is based on a contract with an outside agency and a group of students will uh, work together to address the issue that the agency wants us to address. This year the PRP topic is really exciting. So we are waging a new war on poverty. So the War on Poverty was launched in 1964 when in LBJ's inaugural address he said he wants to stamp out poverty at its roots. And so it was a series of um, landmark uh, legislation. But what's different about it today is the nature of who is poor and where the poor are living. We wanted it to be active and them to be a central player in what would they do today. today. If we had to develop a new war on poverty, what would we do? How would, would, would it be different? Would it be the same? Poverty now in terms of the poverty face of 50 years ago. On. So a lot more single mothers, a lot more uh, communities of color, and less uh, focus on like white, Appalachian, rural poor. This PRP is a little bit different because the client is the LBJ school and there isn't necessarily one um, problem that we're trying to solve. It's a really, really big topic <laughs> and we're still sort of narrowing it down. Um, but the you know, issue of poverty I think feeds into a lot of other issues. I don't expect that I will avoid it in any policy area. I personally am excited to learn more about who is the face of poverty in 2014 um, and what can we really do to combat that. I grew up in a small town with high, high levels of poverty. Growing up, poverty is, is what you see all around you. That, that's what interested me. I'd have the chance to maybe do something about what I knew. I think it'll hopefully make me a more empathetic person. This PRP allowing you to be with 10 or so others that really have a similar interest to you is a great way to build a community of sorts. I think today we're uh, going to start uh, going over uh, how we'd like to structure our PRP, what we'll be doing, uh, what kind of skills we all have. I hope my strengths in planning and architecture bring a little bit to the project, but I also uh, have various experience with community development, community empowerment courses. So I'm just hoping my interests in people of color, LGBTQ studies, feminism, can just bring a more open perspective. I hope I can bring my uh, global Indian perspective to this. I'm realizing that I'm way out of my wheelhouse here, uh, being an engineer by trade. So I'm gonna ideally be more in more of the analysis and maybe data collection aspect. My background's in social work and I have a particular interest in social inequality and uh, social justice. It's your voice and your energy and your knowledge that should set the agenda for the next generation. We're not training bureaucrats, we're training leaders. She's more of a supervisor and we're kind of going to be left to our own devices to figure out what the best course of action is, which I really respond to. During the fair, when Dr. Osborne was talking about this project, she felt really knowledgeable, really passionate about it. Um, and so I was really driven because of her enthusiasm. We have to deliver something to them at the end. And yeah, I think the seriousness of that will be really helpful. I'm hoping that this young energy and talent is going to be able to think outside the box in a way that we just haven't done in the past 50 years. And I also want them to learn how to work together, learn the challenges that come along with that, but also to be able to look back on this and say, 
That was one of the pivotal moments of my LBJ experience that I you know, just won't forget.